Hey, yeah, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Are you ready yet? Just like, literally another 30 seconds. Hey, buddy, where do you want this? You know, that, that goes up into the mezzanine level. Yeah, yeah. Look, run the new opener, and I'll be with you in like literally 10 seconds. It's a new year and with that comes a new look for my channel. Over the holiday break, I decided to make myself a purpose-built YouTube studio, converting my third bedroom, which I used as my edit suite and gear storage area. I found this old brass ornate vase in my house and using some brass cleaner and a ton of elbow grease, I brought it back to life, removing 20 years of tarnish to use it as a display piece. Next, I wanted to display some of my landscape shots from around the world, so I printed off five shots A3 in size to fit in A2 frames with a white matte colour border. I wanted to showcase some of the cameras I owned when growing up. From my first ever camera when I was 11 years old, my first SLR 35mm camera, to the cameras I use today. Some brand new lights, some little extra touches, and it's lights, camera, YouTube. Well hi guys, thanks for tuning in and this is it. This is my new home YouTube studio. This is what I've been working on for the last couple of weeks over the holiday break. And I'm very sorry I missed you guys. I actually missed talking to you guys last week. So, let me just take you through very quickly what I've done here. First of all, let me start off with the desk. Now, I opted for a waist height desk because there's gonna be times where I'm gonna be standing, um, doing tutorials from here, as well as I'm gonna be doing reviews of camera gear and things like lenses as well. The fact that it's white really does help stand out black cameras and black lenses and things like that. So that's one reason why. The other reason why is because it's actually kind of acting as a natural reflector coming off from my key light here and it's helping fill the face here. So yeah, look, let me just take you through to what I've done over here with the photos. With these photos, I ended up not choosing them. It was just too hard of a task for me, so I left it up to my wife. So she ended up choosing a little bit of a mishmash of some of the landscape shots that I've taken from around the world, including uh, Iceland, New Zealand, you've got the Devil's Pulpit in Scotland here, as well as you've got the Wanaka tree from New Zealand. And then up the top there, I think that's Kirk Jafelsfoss over in Iceland as well. So she chose, and I thought she did a pretty darn good job, to be honest. So all I had to do in the end was frame them up and put them up onto a wall. Now, another thing. Over here, I've got my old camera case that I used to have, and it was just stack full of cameras and camera bits, and it was just a, ugh, it was a mess. What I've done now is I've actually turned it into a little bit of a display case. I've got some old cameras, including down the bottom here is my first ever camera that I got when I was 11 years old. Didn't require any batteries, it just took like a cartridge type film in the back of it. And would you believe there is actually still a cartridge of film sitting in there and it has one shot left on it. So uh, if I ever got that film developed, I don't know what would be on it, but anyway. In the middle here, I've got my first ever SLR camera. It was a Canon AV-1 and I've looked after it and kept it all these years as well as some of the cameras up the top there that I use nowadays, including my drone, my D850. And over here, you've probably noticed there's a spare space. Reason for that is because this year is going to be the year I get a brand new camera. Now I've got a few models in mind what I'm looking at, they actually haven't come out yet, but as soon as they come out and I'm gonna have a look at the specs, and then yeah, I'll probably be making the plunge and getting a new camera. Now I'm not going to be getting rid of my Beautiful Nikon D850 camera. As I said in the review I did of it last year, I will always keep the D850 as my backup camera because it is a brilliant all-rounder camera. You can do everything with it. Landscape, wildlife, portrait, everything. It is a fantastic camera and it has never let me down and that's why I'll always look after it and keep it as a second camera. Over onto the far right here, you'll see there's like this old vase. Now, this vase has been sitting around my house for the last 20 years and it's 
literally just been collecting dust. So it had 20 years of tarnish all over it. So what I did was I went and bought this product called Brasso. I spent a good part of half a day using some elbow grease and just ripping into this vase and trying to bring it back as best as what I could to its originality. And I think it kind of like makes a nice little piece on the right hand side of frame to me, but it's on your left hand side. As well as up here, some of the lights that I've put in it, they were actually on special from a store here called Bunnings. It's a, like a hardware store and they were getting rid of all their Christmas lights. So these were half price and I grabbed those and I thought, you know, they, they make a nice little touch going into the vase. Now, lastly, what I did was I went and got this little comfy stool to sit in. It was half price. They were basically getting rid of it at a local furniture store to me and it had this little tiny nick on it. And I just couldn't believe it when they said, yep, that's half price. And I went, yep, done. Money's all yours, I'll take that, thank you very much. So yeah, look, you can set up a YouTube studio very cheaply just by using things around your house. You know, the lights here, look, this soft box that I've got here, it only cost me like $30 second hand. Um, the frames I bought privately, the prints I did myself, and just utilizing things around your home. And look, realistically, the only most expensive thing here was probably the table. I think the table was about Mm, about $190, I think. But that's about it. Everything else was relatively cheap. So all up, it cost me roughly about this much to do that. So not bad. That's the way I'm going to be talking to you guys anyway for the rest of 2021 is from here. When I'm home, of course, I'm still going to be going out and doing some landscape, nature and wildlife videos. And speaking of that, there is talk here in Australia that there's going to be a like a travel bubble opening up between here and New Zealand this year. So if that does happen, I dare say I might be heading over to New Zealand for a week. But with the COVID things still up in the air as well, we just don't know. So could be happening. But if that doesn't happen, I have got some really exciting adventures planned for 2021 to share with you, including I'm going to be going right around my entire state and I'll be doing like a large road trip and just taking in every part of Queensland here in Australia. So I can't wait to share that with you guys and I'm just chewing at the bit and can't wait to get out and go and have some fun. So the other thing what I want to do this year is I want to turn this channel into a more of an interactive channel with you the viewer or subscriber and you might have ideas for videos that might be able to help you out. So I mean YouTube at the end of the day to me is like uh, an educational tool as well as an entertainment tool. Like kind of like to try and mix those two together in my videos where I make them entertaining and educational. But yeah, look, if you guys do have ideas for videos, by all means, put them in the comments. I do read your kind comments. And if I think that it's gonna help out a good majority of people, I'll make those videos for you. So that is it. This is my new YouTube studio. I had to vacate out there where I used to do it in the kitchen and family room because there was times where my wife wanted to use that and it was time just to say, right, okay, let's just leave that out there and let's come into this third bedroom and let's just make it purpose-built and it can just stay here permanently. All the lights are set up. All I've got to do is come in here, sit down and just start talking to the camera. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year to you all and I will see you next week. Never stop creating and I mean that as in you know, if you're writing music, if you're writing poetry, doing photography, you're an artist, always keep creating, keep that mind busy, and I'll see you next week.